<laughs> Can you look at the camera? And we're beginning. Welcome back to the Dr. Z Show. I'm Anthony. Hi. This is Jacob. Jacob, you have to say your name. So we know which of the four people that we have on the show now is Jacob. <laughs> it could be any Jacob. one of us. Who knows? That's I'm... Jacob. <laughs> I am Sparky. And I am we're... Re I am Jacob, stop! <laughs> we're joined by a uh, returning guest host, Brenna, and a new guest host, Julia. And so with yes, the so tradition... The arena. <laughs> with the tradition of us sort of introducing some of the guest hosts... <laughs> <laughs> the flex posing. It's the Rosie the Riveter pose. Um, so, with the uh, with the tradition of introducing some of our guest hosts, sometimes uh, <laughs> Julia, who is our our wiki cur curator for the the Doctor Z <laughs> wiki, has yet to be made. Uh, the master uh, has, of lore. I'll get on it. Yeah. <laughs> is um going to answer our. Our intro questions that, if you'll remember, way back in yesteryear, this is actually last year, so it is yesteryear, um, that Jacob answered in his inter introduction episode, Brian answered them, and some other people probably answered them at some point, who knows. Uh, so, question one, what is your biggest pet peeve? Okay, so my biggest pet peeve, I have two actually. One, which is probably the biggest one, is mispronouncing mischievous. People who say mischievous. And you don't me. like mischievous people. <laughs> because it's it's spelled, it goes comes from mischief. Mischief. Yeah. Mischievous. That's it. No, it's you're easy. absolutely right. That's your biggest pet peeve. That's my biggest pet peeve. My other one is when, people, when people salt your food before tasting it. Mm. Oh, God, that irritates the shit out of me. My dad does that with every meal he eats. I have... I make mac and cheese. My friend comes over. He puts salt and barbecue sauce on it. Why is he it. still your friend? <laughs> it's wait, tough. wait, wait. It's tough. But what if, what if you already... What if it's an existing dish that you've There's had no before, way you can defend that you know, That, like, you know... Want. So, like, for instance, um, like, there's a dish that my mom makes that I always salt because it just it tastes better with salt. Like, but I, mean, I know that from previous I experience. I mean, I get that, too, so. because my dad will make steak and not if it's a new dish yes i agree i yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. Okay, but what happens but what happens when she salts his mac and cheese before he eats it then he's putting extra salt on it then he's fucked then he's gonna have a heart attack and die or get probably actually or yeah, both like, i don't know also who puts salt in mac and cheese i do you have to put some what then really? you don't want to over salt it well, i feel like what? Yeah, yeah, I you feel like yeah, you definitely don't want to over. Cheese. I like to put like a salty cheese in there to give it that flavor. What the fuck is with you and salt? Oh, oh, why why is everybody putting salt in their mac and cheese? It's terrible. Cheese. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> <laughs> Mostly well, pepper, a little bit of mustard. There. I'm just but... using salty but... cheese. Oh, the I think the other reason maybe for me is that I used vanilla almond milk for a while when I was making uh mac and cheese, and so the salt helped. It was yes, like. Sir. It, it tasted a bit better. That's fair. Okay, that's valid. Yeah, no, that's sure. completely valid. Salty okay. And sweet. Uh, All right. So mischievous and no. salty food. Mischievous? No, don't say it. <laughs> She'll kill. You. Um, I will find you. Why is useless superpower on the list? That's not a thing. Was that a real question? It's absolutely a thing. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. no, no, no. Like, like okay. Right, 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 right. Something you're really good at that like is not useful. But useless superpower is absolutely the way we should work. We should yeah. work that. Yeah. I'm bad at writing, as we all know. Okay, what is your useless okay. superpower? I would say anticipating the word someone is going to use before they say it. Because mm -hmm. then I just talk over them when they're trying to tell me something. I do that all the time. <laughs> that sounds like something Jake and I never do. Well, you probably can't anticipate what each other's going to say. <laughs> yeah, both of you are just so just, off the well wall. out there. <laughs> Time extended. Uh, there, secret DLC jokes. Plug one every episode. Okay. Um, what is something you like that everyone else dislikes? Um, I picked a couple things. First is dubbed anime. 
So a lot of people get really pissed about that. I think it's just divisive. I don't know that everyone. Yeah. Ever I, I think that. it depends on the dub. It Some depends of the on dub, the anime. Like the dub also. for the four kids dub of Escaflone is one of the worst things that exists. Like, <laughs> Sometimes ever. a bad dub is awesome too. I mean, it's way. it's part of why. I mean, it's only part of why I could never get into like Attack on Titan. Just... That was going to be another thing on my list, but I did not. Ooh. Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what else? Well, I mean, some sometimes you just I can't read fast enough to watch the sub, especially if it's like a really, mm-hmm. get really good. fast-paced one. Get no, that good. one I totally get to. Yeah. Or if I'm doing something it, it else while watching how it. Watching. Like if you're, I I know I would probably prefer dub if I was watching passively an anime watch that I like sort of passively, like while I was doing. Yeah, other if things. you're doing other things, you have to have yeah. dub in that regard. Yeah. Or oh. you could just learn Japanese. <laughs> That's <laughs> easier, obviously. Difficult. <laughs> also, PC paint. I like PC paint. People get shit on PC paint. PC paint? Yeah. PC paint. That? That? No, one, no one here knows what that is except you. Microsoft Paint software. And then oh, Paint. And okay. okay. Did I, yeah, did I say okay. something else? Oh, I said PC, PC Paint. I heard MS Paint. Paint. Look, uh, we're, I'm, I'm pro MS Paint. I So I support you there. Okay. I don't have feelings about Paint software that I don't use. But well, if, if discontinued. If do photo editing, people shit on it, so. Yeah. Jacob? Would you like what? to share with the class? I, I was, I was, um, on, on our previous things, I was like, MS Paint was my first, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I mean, it was, the, it was the first, like, drawing software that I ever used, so. Yeah, and I freaking mastered it. Yep. All right, what do you dislike that everyone else likes? Game of Thrones. And, oh, that was where I was going to put Attack on Titan. Was dislike mm-hmm. that everyone else likes. Yeah, I, I watched the, the first Thrones. season of Game of Thrones, and then I just I couldn't. You watched the whole first season, though. Like almost the full first season. Okay, I was gonna say ten hours. Yeah, you're I already, put a lot of time into it. I didn't like at it. That point, like, yeah, uh, just finish out the rest of the month, you know, the rest, <laughs> the rest of the seven seasons because I watched most yeah. of the she, first one. She doesn't like shows where there are walls. And people trying to prevent invasions. She doesn't like America. <laughs> <laughs> that is, where's the joke going here? <laughs> we should mention Attack on Titan. America is a yeah. TV yeah. show. Oh, oh, and Game of Thrones. Is America a TV show then? Yes. Now it is. It's Man, canon. It's a show. Uh, All right. Before we get political, uh, <laughs> what is your real life D and D alignment? I had a hard time with this one because I guess it's just lawful good because I'm just about not being an asshole. Paladins! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, my D&D campaign has a, a lawful evil paladin, so yeah. I'm in all oh, wow. shapes and sizes. Who's super overpowered now because I told him all his healing now does necrotic damage. He's very excited. Yeah. Yeah, Jacob's like, oh shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, like, inflict wounds is a good spell. All right, so uh, today we have our guest host to help us talk about puzzle games because Jacob and I don't really know. Um, if you've watched any of the episodes of Doctor C, you, you sort of know that already. Um, <laughs> small nod. All right, so. Uh? Um, First, we're gonna go with the classic, yes. uh, the classic <laughs> puzzle game known by comrades the world over, uh, Tetris. Or and Tetris. so, continue. <laughs> <laughs> the the it sounded like the name of the game was Comrades the World Over. <laughs> comrades the World Over Tetris. <laughs> That's rich, Jacob. Uh, uh, so a... both both. At, at one time or another, both Julia and Brenna have told me that they are the best person at Tetris. I did not say I was the like, best. I also like, don't I think I said like, I've beaten everyone. 
Okay, they were like, <laughs> I've beaten everyone at Tetris. So we're we're gonna we're gonna see which one of them is better, <laughs> and Jacob and I are gonna comment viciously on it. I I want to determine the only question I want to have answered by the end of this is who the would only be the best question. beating someone with Tetris. Oh, like you could use Tetris to you like have to use beat someone the, within an inch of their life. You have to use the triangle block to do that. You just because it's most like you could hold yeah. it in the most uh -huh. ways. Yeah, you. It, uh, yeah, the the T block. Yeah, yeah. that one. The T block. This is why we're right. here because we know more about Tetris than they do. Okay, so. <laughs> but if you if you wielded two L blocks, it would be like a uh what are what are those um it's so a, spirit, it's basically. It's a martial, yeah the martial artist oh, or like bow staffs. Um no no not bow staffs. What are they called? Uh one of the characters in Soul Calibur uses them. I know what oh. you're talking about. Uh, uh I can't think of it. What? Tanto. Tanto, okay. Yeah. Sweet. No, I still think the the most effective would be L blocks because they're basically hammers. Or guns. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, what <laughs> weapons can we make out of the Tetris box? The square would be a grenade. Uh so Brenda's gonna go first because she was irritating me before we started recording. <laughs> and so I decided that she's gonna go first. Well what else is new? All right. So I will shall I share my screen? Yeah. Otherwise, our commenting is going to be wildly inaccurate. Well, you said, oh, I'll let you know when to share your screen. And then you... And I said, share your screen. And please oh. take me out of the corner of the screen, because now I see myself, like, five times, and it's... <laughs> Just close the little window. You don't need that window. No, I refuse. <laughs> oh, God. Get in front of your Tetris game. There you go. <laughs> okay. Hard mode activated. Right. Yeah. Or okay. you can't see the bottom of <laughs> All right, welcome to the World Series of Tetris. We have our first competitor today, uh, Brenna, hailing from the United States. Uh, she has a long uh, last. Uh, we all know last season she broke her thumb. It was a it was detrimental. No one was sure if she would be able to play in the World Tetris Championships, but it, it is quite a comeback story after being after surpassing her mentor. And killing him with an L block. Oh no, what happened? Oh no. I'm <laughs> back. <laughs> it's what happened. <laughs> oh. Uh, comeback story. Important. Wait, no, the screen the screen share went away. Yeah, because I left the call because I exited out of Skype. Like you told because me you... to do. No, that what? Yes. I'm very confused. Look, maybe when it's just my potato the but when it I clicked the, the X, I did the thing. <laughs> It just weird. Yeah. It's like people who spam in in RuneScape, like, oh, press like Alt F four. Yes, it'll, yes. It'll make your game run faster. It's actually the tab. Yeah. That okay. was very specific. <laughs> it happened to me once. That's why I remember. <laughs> okay. So round Brenna two. Will play first. Fight. <laughs> round round two of trying for the first uh, time. We're experiencing some technical difficulties. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Jacob. Great. Okay. Bye, Jacob. I'm down there. Great. Okay. I'm gone. Okay. Play. Begin. Ah, uh, this is a, a. Oh, the square classic. block. Lucky, lucky start. Uh, the square block oh. there. Oh, already, already, uh, already creating problems for yourself. Good, good, good use of holding on to the 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 straight block. Straight block is one of the best pieces in Tetris, as everyone knows. Know you, can, you can hold on to pieces. I did not know you could hold on to pieces. Oh, you didn't know you could that right now. These are slacking. All right, what? she's picking it up steam. She's got her first row cleared. Now she can get down to the lower rows slowly. Uh, so, um. Fun fact for anyone that has never played Tetris. Do you know what the Tetris refers to? Don't ever speak up at once. I mean, what the Tetris and refers to. Like, what the word Tetris refers to. Oh, God. To. Uh, then oh, you fucked that. up? For pieces. That's okay. I can, I can say this. Yes, but when you get a Tetris, what does that mean? It means a four by... It's a four rows of four. Okay. So, uh, Abby, oh, clear like that in 
It what? refers to uh, Tetrominoes, which was a game that the creator of Tetris uh, played, a puzzle game mm. that he played. Good. There's a there's a really good documentary uh, from the gaming historian about Tetris. Tetris. Yep. It is very thorough. Covers like the acquisition Ooh, by three, Nintendo three, and three blocks there. Just getting getting bold though, going going up and and showing no fear <laughs> in the, uh, the giant holes that have appeared. I hate having the holes. Make me sad. That's why people are bad at this game. Is because you can move per- past your fears. Yeah, perfection, yeah, yeah so. perfectionism is the worst. Clearing two lines at a time, getting this, uh, getting this one last hole is, is proving difficult. I don't think I wanted to switch that, but we're just gonna live without mistakes. Oh, that's also living with a mistake. I'm just, I'm just in awe. No, it's, it's, it's hard to. I'm just also living in constant fear. Oh God! Watching. These controls are kind of janky and not what I'm used to. From being super honest. Excuses. <laughs> so, in terms of puzzle games, how how based on luck would you say Tetris is? Because there has to be some kind of there. Oh, it's definitely I, a lot I have no it's, I have no basis to know this or not. But is there some kind of some kind of formula for you know which pieces come next, or is it random? It's pretty. It's I think it's randomized in the code. Um, I think so. Yeah, number, which can number. really really uh, screw you over if you're not getting like decent pieces. Decent piece. At least straight box. Decent piece. <laughs> decent piece. Um, yeah. I, I'd i say that Tetris is a, a strong enough formula, and you have, an, you have enough of a, enough room that the randomness, like, doesn't, there's obviously, there's obviously things that are more ideal, but I don't think but it, I, like, yeah. screws you up entirely. I think, I think you just have to kind of start to get, I'm gonna, oh, I, Went to hold that piece too late, and now I'm just making mistakes. Oh boy. Okay. All right. That's not what I wanted to do. But cool. You're gonna come back. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. On level three, pieces are pieces are, are picking up speed. Oh. I don't know what to do. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Are, are we it? doing points or levels? Points, Questions. of course. Okay. Points are easier to narrow to to make a narrow win or loss depending on what side you're on. I don't know if you're gonna do levels and then points if uh, levels side. We can we can do both. I don't see why not. Well, we can well, keep track. We'll keep possible? track of everything. Is the level based on the amount of time that you? The level is based on the number of uh, lines you clear. Lines and score is time. Yeah. Okay. Score is time or pieces laid? Oh, no. That's a good question. Uh, You you get a higher score the faster you go. Yeah. Usually, like, fast dropping. Oh, no. This is not ideal. Uh, 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 We're fine. uh, We're fine. We're We're making it work. It's happening. He's doing it. Uh, Yeah. I'm I'm not currently. Oh boy, it, uh, things are not going well in Tetris Land here. Champion has fallen. It appears <laughs> that her training in Zurich wasn't good enough. To help her in Zurich. Why is it yeah, Zurich? Zurich? It's Russian. Oh. No, it's not in German. <laughs> Sounds so cool. Zurich is not in Russia or in Germany. <laughs> you both need to work on your geography. It's uh, Switzerland. It's Switzerland. Yeah. Uh, yes. Well. I don't know geography. Uh, this is so bad. I've, just I've disgraced my country. Oh no! Past. I disgraced my country. I have no formal training. The other All guy right. had to use the bathroom. All right, a final. I'm score embarrassing of myself on international television. Eight thousand one hundred and ninety-four, level four with thirty-nine lines. Hmm. 
Julia, I have a feeling you will beat me. I, I can tell you're not on your A game. Yeah, I'm not. You know, it's um, it's an off day. You know, like <sighs> time to come back. Okay. We're we're back. So, all right. Let us, uh, let's see. about carbo loading thing? Yeah, I'm <laughs> going to screen share now. Yeah, you know, my... Uh, she, she didn't really do it right. She had a, a very large plate of spaghetti last night and did uh, really, really... But only off. spaghetti. There's nothing else only on spaghetti. it. Only spaghetti. Like, <laughs> Not no, even no butter. No sauce. Salt. Just the noodles. Salt. Just, and salt. They weren't even cooked. It was just, like, salted, dry noodles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, should I go? Yes. You should. Okay. See, now I just I just want you to beat me so that you can prove oh, that well. we're not terrible. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very, very cocky. I, did, I don't play with the ghosts normally, so I'm going to do that. It's going to make it easier oh. for me. Mm. Ghost piece. Oh. The ghost piece. Now, can... How do you hold? I want to know about how to hold. Uh, hold it. Uh, hold it. Okay. Yeah. You can also adjust your controls if you want it. Oh, it's too late. <laughs> And we're off. It's not a horse race, Jacob. In the, um... Let's fire a cap gun. Begin! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no one's waiting for the gunshot before playing. Like... <laughs> do, they, do they even know how the sports work? I'm, I'm really we concerned. I should have my sports shirt, honestly. Sports? You'll be good at them. <laughs> old hat internet references. Remember the old hat internet references? Stay for the World Series of Tetris. I mean, that is the real thing. She's much calmer. We're playing sponsored by Power Thirst. <laughs> An actual drink. There, we can, we can be sponsored by things that don't exist. Power Thirst and Brondo. <laughs> Brondo. It's like riding a pony, except the pony is 300 feet tall and covered in chains. Oh, oh, no. oh. oh Maybe God. we can also get the guy on a buffalo to sponsor us while we're at it. Um. Man, t-shirt. Man, a t-shirt. <laughs> Julia made a name for herself in the um, Zurich, Russia <laughs> Every Holy. you know, Tetris is really popular in Zurich. <laughs> in Zurich, Russia. <laughs> in Zurich, Russia. You know. You know, not Switzerland. Zurich, Russia. Not Switzerland. What? What even is a Zurich, Switzerland? <laughs> not a real place. <laughs> and the oh, World Series of Internet Tetris will be held at Zurich, Russia, this upcoming fall. <laughs> There's one every. So your there's, there's a World are in Series. By September 15th. There's a World <laughs> Series every season. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's still the World Series. It's just Christ. not. It's very small, but it is. <laughs> but it is the World Series. I mean, but it, that's like the World Series of baseball. Like, what are we ever going to get? Oh, her first error. I mean, <laughs> her first yeah. mistake. Yeah, her first error at 10,000 points. Christ, she's fast. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is... She's also much calmer than you. Yeah, her pro form. Well, I I'm going to hold that one. Very quick. Now that I know that's a thing. Yeah. Uh, the kids these days are, are all about those uh, those Tetris dances. And there's lots of... What the fuck are you talking Lots of controversy <laughs> over whether or not Tetris is allowed to use uh, real dances. What? <laughs> I was wondering where on earth you were going with that. Yeah, I can't decide I mean, that it, it happens. Wait, what? It has? That's a real thing? <laughs> no. Did Zip make that up? I'm Wait, sure what? Jacob did, in fact, make that up. Wait, what am I talking about? <laughs> no one knows anymore. I... I'll just move on. I mean, I was, I was basing it off of the Fortnite dance controversy over whether or not... Uh, the and then you said that really it. happened. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah it like, really, really happened happen? with Fortnite, but not with Tetris. But not with Tetris. <laughs> oh, I do want to point this out, because I know um, people have complained about how much we use the word like. So what is the yeah. difference? Do you do either of you know what the difference is between, between so-and-so said this versus so-and-so was like this? 
What is the difference? Uh, I think it's a direct yeah, quote. It's a direct quote for said, and he was like, is, is you paraphrasing, usually in a comedic sort of fashion. But also, like implies intent. Said uh, is just the direct quote. When, when you say yeah. someone was like, and then you're like, oh, they were like mad at me. Like, it, it implies the intent behind their words. And I think, I think it, yeah, it's, again, contextual. Like, the, it's mm -hmm. also just a good thought word, I'm realizing, as I say it <laughs> while describing the context of like. <laughs> it's a thought word. It's... At the rate that this is going, this might end up being the entire episode because she has already demolished your score and is oh, showing yeah. no, slides, I, no I signs of slowing would. down. I I disgrace my family. You, my you can have a go again family. if you want. No, I, we, we a, a redemption would be would be lovely. The, if the we rematch get... of the century. <laughs> get it on pay per view. Yeah. Yeah, they have to pay per view that episode. Yeah. It's not included in the season pass for the secret backstory DLC. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just here's a fun anecdote Bad. about Tetris. Okay. I was getting lunch yesterday, and the girl was like, That's "Do you want tater tots?" And I Did said, she of say, or was her intent? Her intent was, "Would you like yeah. tater tots?" <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "Of course, I want tater tots." And well, I guess first well, I said, "Completely not verbal." And she said, yes. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that because I work here. So I got tater tots. And I didn't expect anything from these tater tots until they came out and they were in the shape of Tetris pieces. Oh, wow. That's cool. Wow. And so I... Why did I see that on Snapchat recently? Did you Snapchat them? I did you Snapchat this. Okay, um, that's why I saw that on Snapchat. Yeah. I was like, I saw that on did, Snapchat yesterday. I did post that on Snapchat. And... So, like a child, I dumped my t tater tots out on the table and played Tetris with my tater tots. Tetris tater tots. You dropped them on <laughs> onto each other. <laughs> well, was it, the, yeah, and then they disappeared <laughs> <laughs> into my mouth. <laughs> was there any uh, was there any reasoning behind why the uh, why the tater tots were shaped like Tetris pieces? Not whatsoever. Also, I, I had a kind of a weird thought of... Just one. I, I had a weird thought of, like, it sounds more, more like drugs, but, like, you did a it's line fun. of tater tots. <laughs> okay. Because you, like, consumed them once they were in I get line. But, I, I get the joke. I just, I don't know if I agree with it. Wow! Now tonight you were the one. To, you were the one to challenge her. Hmm? I'm glad. I'm glad I forced you into challenging her instead of doing it myself like an idiot. <laughs> I probably would have got my ass yeah, kicked. It's getting, it's getting much faster. Yeah, and it's only level ten. Like what the so heck? Long. I have not gotten any higher than level ten, honestly, and not in the last ten years at least. Yeah, I feel like I I, I was I, I shamed. Brought this on. Yeah, I brought dishonor on on me and my family and my cows by and my bovines. <laughs> I'm gonna lose pretty soon here. Yeah, it's, I believe it's in coming. It. You can see it. I believe in the heart of the cards. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh. Uh. Yep. Oh. Mm -hmm. that, oh. No, that was good. Uh, I agree with that. Uh, I agree with that choice. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh. Here it goes. Here it goes. It's the end. That's it. The end of 70, all 73,000 yeah. to final that's, score. That's all. That's over 5. I'm curious of what your high score is. Um, on on Tetris.com, I don't know. But oh. when I was playing it, at, at, at the height of my Tetris career, when I was playing it, uh, like, nightly, um, when I was, like, 15, On an 8,000 calorie diet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, in my bed late at night, trying to avoid going to sleep. Uh, we're still talking about the Tetris, right? Yeah, yeah, we're talking about the Tetris. <laughs> Got it. All right, um, make sure. 
I would not play it like, eating my eight thousand calories. And I, I was playing the Game Boy Advance version of it, and I was, I would beat all fifteen levels, and then I just started speed running it, and I got down to like twenty four minutes to beat all fifteen levels. Wow, that's impressive. It's yeah. I mean, it's uh, uh, but think about how many years, how much of my <laughs> life was spent speed running Tetris late at night. Yeah, high school is a lot of study hall. Tetris. Yeah, yeah. So you, you didn't even <laughs> upload it to Twitch. I this was before Twitch is really a thing in what two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Oh, Christ, I forget. Sounds like a personal problem. You are sometimes. Well, if you ever want um, to watch Brenna fail miserably at something ever again, that is a video game, definitely watch her play Skyward Sword, because holy shit, it's hilarious, but also terrifying to listen to. Yeah, it's... <laughs> oh, right, because we're on a call off and playing Skyward Sword. I forgot about that. I definitely what? thought it was me that you were mad at, because no, it probably, it's Skyward it probably Sword. also was, but... <laughs> I, yeah, because Skyward Sword was Backstory awful. DLC for you all to unearth. All right, so down to the meat of the episode. Now that the bit has uh, once again taken up 30 minutes, uh, we have Julia to thank for playing Tetris too well. Um, so what is a puzzle game? What, what defines a game as specifically a puzzle game? Because a lot of games have puzzle elements. Like, I know we talked... Because we've been doing the shooter series, we've talked about how Tomb Raider is not actually a third-person shooter. Um, because Tomb of all the puzzle like an elements, game, yeah. and it's an adventure game because it combines a lot of those elements together. <laughs> so in the same same episode, we talked about Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4, along with a lot of the Resident Evil games, has a lot of puzzle elements. But no one, I don't think, would say that it is a puzzle game. But what is a just puzzle game like? What what would you say? We'll start with I, Jacob. Oh, yep, Jacob. Yeah. Huh? Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, I'm trying to phrase this in a way that doesn't that isn't too general. I think a puzzle game. There is. Mm, so a puzzle game has the solving of puzzles as the primary mechanic for progression in the game. Whether that progression is leveling up to harder puzzles or to like moving to another area of the game like Portal, um, you know, that that is the primary mechanic. So for instance, like the Legend of Zelda games have a lot of puzzles in them, but they are not puzzle games because that is like just a subsection. You, because there's also combat and like the plot, among other things, going on in the game. Whereas Bejeweled, you have to, you know, and that's a, a type of puzzle game, a, a match three puzzle game, um, which have become very popular on mobile things recently, uh, or just even in the last 10 years, they've exploded. Uh, but the prime solving of a puzzle, and the puzzles can be in a lot of different forms. Some, Usually, though, puzzles involve moving around some kind of piece, and I think that is the that's the primary definition because you could there are certain um, so like tower defense games. We were talking about how eventually they get to a point where you have to lay out the the towers in kind of a specific way and level them up in a specific way at the harder difficulties of some of of some tower defense games in order to even clear the level. And that is so, that gets closer towards the puzzle mechanic because you're trying to find a specific configuration of things to, to solve things. Um, so, I, I agree with your definition. The part I don't agree with is the Legend of Zelda thing because of what you said right before that. So, you said you have to progress by solving the puzzles, right? Primer, primarily. Primarily, you're progressing through solving the puzzles. So, looking at looking at Legend of Zelda, we'll take we'll take kind of the one everyone knows. We'll look at Ocarina of Time. You can't progress in the game if you don't beat the first dungeon, right? Yeah. Fair. Mm -hmm. 
the first dungeon has puzzles in it that you need to progress through the dungeon. Yes. So, if you don't complete those puzzles, or if those puzzles, like, you're stumped by the puzzles, you can't progress to the end of the dungeon, and therefore cannot progress to dungeons afterwards. See, but it's I not, would... It's not like Breath of the Wild. That's not the focus just, of the game. But it's not the focus of the game. See, I would argue that Legend of Zelda and most of the Zelda games fall into the adventure game category in the same way as Tomb Raider games do. Because while there is puzzle solving and other elements, there's also combat, there's, you know, other variations on the game itself. And I yeah, think... And the, the other thing is that... I'm just trying to pick not... def Jacob's definition because I'm an asshole, but... <laughs> you can't. The other thing is you also can't... I mean, unless you're a speedrunner, um, you can't progress without fighting the bosses either. True. You, so okay. you can't just... Fair. It would If the puzzles were the only way to progress in the game, that would be one thing. Okay, if the puzzles fair. were the only way to deal damage to the bosses, mm -hmm. that would be one thing. That would be horrible. Yeah, but... That's, I mean, in in some fights you have to target specific things, but there's that's not figuring that out is never a puzzle. That's but again, yeah, that's, that's like that's, that's, that's like combat and strategy. If that's yeah. your definition, then Monster Hunter is a puzzle game. Like, <laughs> okay, so I think Jacob has a, a pretty concise definition that we can yeah. agree with. Yeah, and it, I think the other part of that is primarily through the movement of objects, like the movement or placement of certain objects. Um, yeah, uh, one Like thing. a literal puzzle? Yes. <laughs> like a physical that, puzzle. <laughs> yeah, that it, they mimic... That's where the that, word comes from. They mimic that feel. <laughs> and I would say generally mean, there's a correct way to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That there's, only, that there's only one solution? One or two possible solutions. Yeah. Okay. Which kind of separates Tetris and, th and Match 3 games out a little bit. It... Yeah. So, so, do all puzzle games... I'm still trying to get away from Legend... Thinking about Legend... Because now mm -hmm. I'm thinking about Legend of Zelda as a puzzle game. I'm trying to get away from that. So, do all puzzle games have to have some element of randomization? Because... We, well, we okay. I well, say no. Well, we <laughs> talked about Tetris. The pieces are randomly decided. We talked about like word games where you pick up random tiles, or like Bookworm, where the word, you know, the letters sort of randomly come down. Um, but and but game looking at other puzzle games like Lemmings, or you mentioned an Incredible Machine, or even breakout games like Arknoid or Snood, those games are always laid out sort of the same mm -hmm. way. Or tower defense games, like Jacob was saying, and you have to sort of figure out what pieces or abilities or things to move when. Well, when I think of a puzzle game, I think everything's out in front of you, and you're trying to figure out the, pot, the correct solution. Like, I think of Portal or Mist or Talos Principle. Then, then like flash type puzzle games come later for me. Yeah, okay. I, I would agree with that. I think a puzzle game is looking at the situation in front of you and figuring out the best way to solve it. The most efficient way to solve it. I disagree with Mist because to me Mist falls into a category of games like Monkey Island or really any of the LucasArts adventure games because it's I... It's also about the story. There are there are a lot of puzzles. Well, so it's in Portal. It. But I will say, yeah, Portal's big on story, but I will say. So I looked up, in the attempt to find a definition of that is, like, renowned, I looked up just puzzle games. And I have a list in front of me of, like, puzzle games that are commonly searched for as puzzle games. So and we have is on that list. Mist is on that list. Well, Mist, you Fair. can't progress without completing the puzzles again. Right. So... And it and it and there's no other way to progress within the game. Exactly. But so are any of the LucasArts adventure games on that list? Because you have to solve the puzzles in the games to I don't progress. Think they are. What what games are we talking about? Give me Secret names. Secret of Monkey Island, Secret of Monkey nope. Island Two, nope. Day of the Tentacle. No. Nope. Um, I can Indiana I can Jones, give you... City of Atlantis. Nope. And what's the other one that they just remastered? Full Throttle. 
Those are none of those are on there. I can here. Here are some things that are on the list of puzzle games that we would all recognize. So we've got Tetris. Tetris is number one. Right behind it is Candy Crush, which is in front of Bejeweled. Um, then we have Portal, Bubble Shooter. Okay, uh, so there we are with the breakout games. Angry Birds is yeah, on yeah. the list. Angry Birds makes sense. And to me. Angry Birds makes sense to me now that it's in front of me as a puzzle game. Yeah, it's a puzzle yeah. game. Jacob, didn't you mention that, uh, I think, last episode of the episode before that about how Angry Birds was a shooter? <laughs> we might have. I mean, so you're, primarily, you're primarily shooting. You have a slingshot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it works. Um, Fishdom? Jewel Quest? I've never played Fishdom. I, I remember. Okay. Yeah, Jewel Quest took me back, man. Um... <laughs> Puzzle Quest, Peggle, Mist, World of Goo. Yep, Peggle, yeah. Um, I think Tower- Monkey Island is more of a puzzle game than Peggle, in my opinion. You think so? Hmm. I can see that. Abby, Abby said that it... What, what's the difference between puzzle games and point-and-click adventures? Ooh. Uh, well... Uh, hmm. Well, in that, in that regard, I mean, Mist is a point-and-click adventure. Be- like the Nancy Drew because games, okay so so oh, for a, Nancy Drew so, games. yeah right. so point and click so adventure. for a point and click adventure you need to have gameplay right yeah. for it to be a game there needs to be some kind of gameplay yeah and just clicking on things isn't a game right so like just clicking on on that you know places in the world or whatever to to go places or to look at things that's not a game it's just a sightseeing tour at that point right so. Games like point and click adventures, like like Monkey Island, or I would argue, I would argue again, like Mist, you have to solve the puzzles to continue the adventure. Wait, back on the uh, part of the game. Can be both, yeah. Like, be both. like not being a game. What about RuneScape? Is RuneScape not a game because all you do is point and click? No, because you're clicking on specific things to accomplish specific tasks. You have strategies. And how is that different from? Well, okay, so... I feel like you're, yeah. I think you're point-and-click adventure to general to to argue that RuneScape is is a point-and-click adventure. Well, I'm just saying that, like, calling them not games is... I mean, you could say that, like, there's the, the, like, with the Detroit Become Human, like, there's Mm, the the weird... There's a weird feel of, like, uh, like, visual, visual novel... Kind of yeah. thing, like dating sims, and, yeah, dating it, and things I... that, like they're they're technically games by the nature of interacting with the media more so than just watching it. And along those lines, Oregon Trail is I feel like yeah. kind of falls into this category as well. Of like, it's not a game because you're just typing things out, but it's a game because you're and figuring you out it. the best way to do it and the best way to approach it. You could, uh, by this definition, we could argue that Oregon Trail is a puzzle game. But I think it's a little too random and would fall into the adventure category. Oh, shit. Okay. You just got owned. I mean, no, like, I'm... You should. Well, I'm thinking about this. Now, based on what you said about Oregon Trail and figuring out the best way to go about it, I'm trying to think of a game now that does not have puzzle elements. I mean, I feel like that's yeah. the nature of gameplay. That's play. exactly. You have to you're, figure. You're trying you have to, to figure out. It's everything. whether it has elements or whether it's you're the li- primary focus. But I think the the move. So the other thing I think that's different between puzzle games and adventure games is because technically you're you know clicking on whatever you're moving something usually. Uh, but you're I would say about. most puzzle games don't. Most puzzle games have you moving different pieces rather than moving like a single character mm-hmm. you know super meat boy is not a puzzle game it is a platformer it's a platformer right you have to Hard. find correct like inputs and everything to go through the level but you're controlling just meat boy you're you're not you know you're not trying to move around these different pieces to mm-hmm. to solve something it's, it's just that character um okay same with like Dead Cells, Ninja Gaiden, other things, you are, yes, there are obstacles to avoid, and you 
do have to move through things and there's a, a, a better path through different things. You have to use problem solving skills, but they're not puzzle games because there aren't multiple pieces that have to come together or be moved in a certain way to progress. Meanwhile, with games like Portal, you're literally moving objects into the mm -hmm. correct place and they have to fit a certain configuration yeah. in order for you to progress forward and make it to the end. While it is still a first person game and you are from a perspective of a person, you have control of not just the person, but the environment in a yep. way that is meaningful and purposeful. Okay. I'm going to try to distance myself from Portal because you all know how I feel about it. And uh, I'm going to get crucified by the internet because of it. But, you know. Um, okay, so, so we have the definition of a puzzle game. What was everyone's first puzzle game? Or, well... Do we want to do we want to narrow it down to first puzzle video game or just puzzle game period? We should probably do puzzle video game because we should probably puzzle do puzzle video game. Yeah, let's say, let's say puzzle game that. period for me would be the the children's toy where you have to match like the star shape into the star thing. Yeah, the block. Yeah. Yeah. Well, star goes like in star. Puzzles. Puzzles. Hole goes yeah. in hole. Yeah, it's a literal puzzle. Jigsaw puzzles. Like... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I guess those aren't those are just literal puzzles instead of puzzle games. So. Yeah. So, we'll Ooh, start with okay. you, Jacob. Like puzzle board games, like, um, uh, Blockus, Blockus and stuff. Yeah, I love Blockus. Mm -hmm. Or, um, like, Suro almost is a puzzly kind of game. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Suro, you're, like, trying to fly a dragon around, and you, you have, you're given, like, blocks. Is it a board game? It's a board it's a, game. Yeah, yeah you get these fun. little tiles, and you feel like, place them on the board, and I have Suro of the Seas, um, Right behind yeah, me. and you're trying not to crash into other dragons or go off the board, and the last person standing wins. Weird. I've never heard of that game. It's very I'll fun. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Jacob, we'll start with you. What was your first puzzle video game? First puzzle game doesn't uh, count if it's a board game that you played on the computer. Probably, probably either Minesweeper or uh, their one one prominent one that. Uh, I mean, I I probably played Bejeweled before literally anything, but I didn't play much of it. I I do recall having played it at least once, but it was way way back. So, so I think I think of Minesweeper as a puzzle game, and that no one knows how to play it. I play it a lot. Once you figure out how to play it, it's not that hard. It's how yeah, really simple. It. If anything, it gets more you frustrating because you're like, I made the wrong times. choice. It's like I knew that was the wrong choice. Yeah. Yeah. For reference, I do know how to play Minesweeper. It's just <laughs> you just do it wrong enough times until you figure out how to do it right. Yeah, pretty much. You mark things with flags. You, it's <laughs> it's a deductive. It's mark like a deductive reasoning it's game. Deductive reasoning, yeah. Like a logic problem. Yeah. All right. Everybody, everybody except me is Sherlock Holmes, apparently. Bruno, <laughs> was Minesweeper your first game? It was not, although I did play a lot of Minesweeper um, and the, the pinball game. Like Minesweeper all the time. <laughs> I don't know, the pinball game was more of my go-to, but... <laughs> Everyone's um, been playing a lot of Minesweeper, apparently. <laughs> my first puzzle game was for Game Boy Advance, and it was... I had this terrible Barbie game, and it had, like, seven different games on it and one of the major games was um like a puzzle solver and a, and a match three and it had like bows and purses and shoes and it was very like pink and purple and barbie but i was like seven so again the real reason is ending is wondering how the real puzzle here is uh figuring out how you ended up with a barbie game that you actually played barbies I just said I didn't like pink. Hey. Don't mean I don't like Barbies. We'll move on. Uh, <laughs> uh, Julia, your first That would be puzzle game. the Incredible Machine for Windows 95. Oh, yeah. I think I have the Incredible Machine 2000 uh, sitting around here somewhere collecting dust. I remember, I remember that game not because I, like tried to solve any of the puzzles because they were hard and I was a child and I just wanted to watch things blow up. So I just remember using the nitroglycerin tool 
in the like the sandbox mode to just blow up as many things as I could at once. I actually I've, ended up yeah, crashing my computer by me. doing that. I primarily watched my sister do the puzzles and then just tried to copy it. Yeah. I mean that's how you learn uh a lot of a lot of puzzle games is you see the elements come together and then you're like, okay. And then they, they give you he's, a he's just fall into place. Well they give you a different scenario. <laughs> like there's like the tutorial, but if the puzzle was the exact same the puzzle you had in the actual game to progress is the exact same as the tutorial puzzle, then it's not it's not hard. Because it's the same. You just yeah. remember things, which is hard for some people. Uh, but how about a yeah. uh, rush hour? Where does that Ooh. fit? Because that it's, is well, it's a board game. Yeah, it's a board it's a board game, but there are there are like online iterations of it. I would say I would say it is a puzzle game because we we talked about how puzzle games don't have to be random. They don't have to have randomness. Right. So like Lemmings or the Incredible Machine, where the puzzle is the same every time. So Rush Hour, I think, is if you're following like the cards or the you know whatever, if it you know comes together and you have to figure out how to get the car out, then that that is a puzzle game. The pieces can only move a certain way, and there's in in the case of Rush Hour, there's usually only one or two right ways to to solve it. Yep. Based on based on how difficult it is. Yeah. So Rush Hour. Agree. Fresh Hours puzzle game. Yeah, I would agree. Um, what about my Cat Stack? <laughs> cat Stack is a, a similar thing, but you're trying to stack different cats, and it's amazing. Weird. I highly I recommend that stack. one out. I have a game called Pop Cat that's similar. Cool. Uh, my first puzzle game was before all of those games. Taking it back, uh, MS DOS. Uh, Arknoid 99. And it was a breakout game, similar to... I'm trying to think of a... Well, similar to Breakout. Uh, but I'm trying to think of a oh, good game breakout, yeah. liken it to... Um, that's, like, more popular now. Because it wasn't... It wasn't, like... Um, it wasn't, like, Snood or Bubble Bobble, where you had, like, a gun that you shot the things out of. Uh... It was like a, you had like a, 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 like a, a table that you moved like back and forth and bounced things off of. Sort of think about like Pong, but you weren't facing another, another. Uh... Almost like, kind of sounds like Brick Breaker, honestly. Yes, like Brick Breaker. Yeah. Um, Breakout was for the original Atari uh, in 1976. 1976. Um, and so Arknoid was, uh, there was some weird story that had, that went along with Arknoid, but it was, it was similar to that. And, um, you had to figure out, you know, what, what the, the element was, you know, how to get the, how to hit the ball in such a way that it would get between like the unbreakable blocks and, you know, what power ups you wanted to pick up and not picking up those power ups. Cause you know, they're not helping you and, you know. So on and so forth. I would say I would say breakout games probably have the least puzzle, or the least puzzle like, the yeah. least puzzle elements. Um, I would say kind of similarly to Angry Birds. Honest, Angry is Angry Birds a breakout game? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd say it's a breakout game. I think so. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Like Peggle. With your, yeah, your like Peggle, yeah. I would say I would say no because of the because of the different birds. You can get oh, different balls different? in Peggle. Yeah. Well, that's true. That's true. I, I feel like we're like playing I, quite a bit of Peggle. I feel like just now that I'm thinking about it so deeply, I feel like with the rise of mobile games, really puzzle games are thriving currently because of the platform of a touchscreen device. Like, mm-hmm. it's, yeah, much they, easier. it's much easier and more intuitive than yeah. thinking of a controller and trying to figure out, you know, how whatever, you know, you have to figure out the controls first for a touchscreen mobile game. You touch and the screen and it does the thing. Like, that's, yeah, like Candy Crush, Angry Birds, 
I mean, how many people played 2048? How many people played... Which 2048 is a huge puzzle game. There's now Tetris and Bejeweled for the pho- for your phones. There's, like, word games galore. There's, um... Well, I just had one in mind, and I can't think of what I had. But I feel like because of the intuitive nature... Oh! That game where you shoot the balls and you have to, like, break all the bricks around it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's it's a opposite Brick Breaker where you're, like, not trying to bounce it back. You're just trying to, like, uh, I've seen, uh, angles. I've seen yeah. 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 There's I've several versions it, of it. I put that yeah. for a hot second, and it's, it gets kind of boring. For it me gets kind of boring. My, my friends really were into it for a minute and got me into it, and then I kind of fell off. But it's... It, it's interesting to see how many people are playing puzzle games, whether or not they know that they're playing a puzzle game. I don't think it sort of, you know, this is going to be my, like, you know, grumpy old man thing of the day, but I I don't think people th- I don't think that people think when they pull out their phone at, like, a bus stop or somewhere and start playing a game on it. I don't think they for the most part, people aren't like, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a puzzle game right now." Like they're just like, "Oh, I'm bored. I need something to pass the time. I'm gonna play Candy Crush." Like, but I don't think that's any different than pulling out a newspaper and playing Sudoku or a crossword. Well, mm, maybe you have to you have to seek that out though. You have to mm, you have to not if we're going grumpy old man mode, like pre 1990. Not really. Mm. Almost everyone had a newspaper. Okay. And now they're dying. I don't know. I because bought my parents a subscription to the Washington game. Post for their for their Christmas present. So I mean, the, my the, parents. The small political digs in your uh, family. My parents went to one day a nice. week. That's a big jump for them. They did. So. Oh wow! My they were my dad was going to go to one day a week, and then I I got a really good deal on a post on a post subscription. For both a physical and a digital copy, because my mom likes the digital copy and my dad likes the physical copy. And now he and now he reads three three packs a day. <laughs> <laughs> Helping his newspaper addiction. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't I can't can't help but help his newspaper Are, addiction. Uh, is, digital, must, is reading digital newspaper resist. like the equivalent of vaping? Then <laughs> I don't know. Newspaper kill you? Joke. <laughs> must resist backstory joke. Um, okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's re- regain focus instead of uh, putting Brenna's immediate family on blast. Um, uh, I'm not just a joke. <laughs> on blast to uh, what, like 15 people? Um, <laughs> so, okay, so we've all talked about our first puzzle game, what a puzzle game is. What are your favorite puzzle games? Game. You get to pick one. Everyone gets to pick one. 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 Yes, one. It's going to be very difficult for you. And right. Brenna looks like she's. No, I, like I, I, I thought about so it, but I decided. Fly out of your head. It wasn't the first time I've seen that from you, but. Okay. We'll start with Jacob, because Jacob doesn't know. What? Yeah, exactly. See? So, what is, uh, what is your favorite? Intentional. So, if we're allowing tower defense games, desktop tower defense is my favorite. It is so good because okay. it, it's a lot more freeform than other uh, tower defense games that I've played. And so, you can like one of the things that I enjoy the most about it is you could make a you could basically just force all of the enemies into a corridor made of all of the towers. And so you just can force them to snake around for as long as possible um, to be able to do the most damage to them. Uh, you could, so, and I enjoyed that a lot about it. Um, it it got hard uh, even doing that. You know, it's, you still had the plan, but but that's my favorite. Okay, I'm gonna. I was gonna cheat, and I was gonna say the Kingdom Rush series because I do I do really enjoy that series, but I think I think if we're gonna go with tower if I'm gonna go with the tower defense game and I'm gonna go with the game I spent the most time in, um, 
because I I played it so much because I liked it so much. I'm gonna have to go with balloons. Balloons is okay. specifically the balloons four. Yep. Because that was the last one before microtransactions were introduced. <laughs> Uh, and I'm gonna not get up on my soapbox about microtransactions because then this will actually be the longest episode of the Doctor Z show ever. It will be four days, <laughs> at least, <laughs> minimum. At it will least, never leave. Um, so yeah, balloons. The the balloon series of uh, balloons four in particular. Yeah. Okay. So. For me, if I if if I had to give up every other puzzle game except for one, oh wow, only that's have... extreme. Whoa. I know. Yeah, I, was saying, I... favorite I wasn't saying. Well, I had. That's how I had to go about it in my head. Desert I really, Island. I really, I really like puzzle games. Puzzle yeah, game <laughs> you get to bring one puzzle game with you. It's Tetris, uh, hands down, because the randomness creates a fresh new game every single time you play it, and I think that. No, disagree. Okay, go ahead. You I disagree don't. because there's only five pieces. <laughs> Yeah, but the, the, the configuration the is different every time. You can never create the same Tetris board twice. Challenge accepted. I, I mean, you know, can't. I mean the same thing, but okay. No. I'm that, sure that there are two boards that have been the same, but I think because of both player concepts, like how the player approaches the game and plays the game itself, and the randomness generated within the pieces, and the whole, like, and choosing to hold, and, like, that kind of all falls under how you play the game, I think. That's just no, no. And, and allows for the most fresh and unique way to play the game every single time you play it. Okay, fair. You might approach it the same way, but each time you play it, it's different. Fair. It's fresh, new and exciting. See, I was gonna, I was gonna argue about how it's this it's the same game and the same board but as soon as i said that i i thought about um i thought about like like you know if i have to going back again to my favorite game of all time age of empires like mm -hmm. it, it is it's the same every time in the sense that you have the, the same choices the mechanics yeah. of the game are the same every time but there's That's like yeah, it doesn't mean you approach the game. With billion you know. different map seeds that you can go about, and it's rare that you'll ever see one, you know, more than once. But, I, but that's, and that's like about saying it, played it enough. It would be, mm -hmm. it would be, it's it's new every time. But the, and that's what like saying, um, like approaching Skyrim is like the same game every time. Everyone like, just ends up being a stealth archer, like you know, just, that's just how the game works. I don't know I play. <laughs> That's not how I play Skyrim. I tried to be the avatar. I, I, I just, I just have a mace and beat things as hard That's as I can. That's how I played. Is I just <laughs> barreled through it. Yes. Tank. I'm not alone. You have a lot of more, a lot more patience than I do, then, or less yes. patience, depending less on uh, patience. how much yeah. you die. Yeah. Very yeah. much less. So, although I also, I, I'm also the kind of person who sometimes doesn't tra fast travel because it's fun. Like yeah, no, you don't, you don't. The first, no. uh, my first full playthrough of Oblivion, I never fast traveled. Wow. Yeah. That must have taken yeah. you forever. I mean, it, it took a long time, but... Are you still playing? <laughs> Currently. It, some say Anthony is, has been, is still playing Oblivion. Oblivion. No, I bought a You were saved into the Oblivion. I killed uh, I bought, all my I bought a, in Skyrim. Very early. Um, so... I was able to get around much faster. Yes. Uh, so, Julia, your favorite puzzle game. If you had to pick so, just one. I will have to say Portal, just if not only because it reignited my love of video games, because I hadn't been playing video games for a long time, and then yeah. Portal, and then, I mean, yeah. Oh, don't make that face. I don't like Portal. Just because you have already established that are that. incorrect doesn't mean that you get to share those opinions okay. that are incorrect. Portal Portal to me is like oh, wow. Bioshock Infinite. Okay? <laughs> Bioshock Infinite tried so hard to to like blow your mind kind of at, at any chance that they got. And Portal succeeded at it. I think what? Portal was more dorky and hokey, which is what I liked about it. Exactly. Rather than trying to blow your mind. Portal did it, it was once. 
you can never you can never play Portal for the first time again. No, and and that first time you play Portal, it's only worth it the first time. I don't I, replay I games after I play them the first time. Well, by that definition, then Ocarina of Time is an awful game. Yeah, and Skyrim's an awful <laughs> game. And but, see, but see, those games are so long, and there's especially Skyrim. There's so many different ways to approach situations. So you could. We'll take the narrow definite. I'll take the narrow path here with Ocarina of Time. You could approach the game only using like once you get to a certain point, you can't get it before then. But approach the game only using the bigger sword the entire game, right? Yeah, except yeah. you know, except in the parts where you have to use the you know the the master sword to defeat Ganon at the very end. The spoiler alert: you fight Ganon at the very end. Ocarina of Time. Big surprise. Um. Right, so you could do that, or you could play the entire game only using the Megaton Hammer, or whatever. You you yeah. could set those, you could set those like goals, or like limits to yourself to experience the game a different way. So like Jacob just said, you know, he played Skyrim by you know trying to become the Avatar and use only spells. Where I I played Fallout Three, played not knowing game. how to use bats. Well, there's that. I, oh, no. <laughs> my my and argument. I only use the sledgehammer. Oh my, my argument against that is that <laughs> I'd say that variety doesn't necessarily mean like good design. Yeah. Like I'm gonna love hot and spicy cheeses like forever, um, despite the fact that they're so, objectively like, a terrible so food. Portal, even though so let's say you can only like you can only experience Portal like Fine, for the I'll first time in a, ever in between hot and spicy cheeses and Portal. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, I so, just want to make sure that I'm making that. Mean, your food experience like even if you have the same food like if you love it like having it over and over and i understand that like for your, for your okay point, okay okay i see where we are okay like for your point games like you kind of you the enjoyment some of the enjoyment is in the twists and turns and everything but there's people who know the ending of books and they reread them over that's and over true again. okay yeah no, you know that's true. and I've so like looking looking at times. video games as a form of art I like, you know, I anyways. I it's I'd about say that the like journey. it's about the it details. Doesn't have to make it a bad game just cuz it's the same you yeah, know. It's the intent of the game to get Well, I wasn't saying that that was, that was well, it's not like I don't I would yeah. say that it doesn't necessarily mean poor design. Okay, right. so look, look I'm going to I'm going to take this from a different angle then. So you tell a joke, right? And yeah. okay. The joke is funny, right? Yeah. You hear it, you're like, ah, well, you know, funny. funny joke. Unless Jacob's telling the joke. <laughs> uh, or unless my wife is telling the joke, because she has very poor comedic timing. But she's learning, and I love her. Um, I have to, you know, get that in there to avoid getting in trouble later. Um, okay, so so let's say you tell a joke, and you're not Jacob, uh, and you tell the joke, and it's funny, and people are like, haha, you know, laugh, they laugh, whatever. You know, you wait. However long, whatever, however long, you tell the joke again. People are like, haha, you know, they recognize the joke and they're like, oh, you know, that's funny. They laugh, but they laugh a little bit less, right? You don't, you don't really laugh like the same amount. The joke. It doesn't mean well, okay. Yeah, if it's like your favorite yeah. joke, you're going to well, laugh no, here's, freaking hard every time. Here's, here's my point. And, and what Brenna said, you know, fully encapsulates my point. It depends on the joke. In in this in this instance, my my illusion here is that the game is the joke, right? Yes. Right. So what Julia said is absolutely correct. Age of Empires is my favorite joke of all time. Like it's my favorite game of all time. I will enjoy it probably as much as I enjoyed it the first time I played it. Every single time I play. So I've I've killed my own point. Thank you. Yeah. I think. I think what you're yeah. what you're getting at is that you value replay value, like yeah, I do yeah. very that's, very that's highly. Absolutely, that's absolutely right, and that's absolutely why I hate myself and play so many Metroidvania games and roguelikes. No, yeah, I, didn't, I meant to say roguelike games because the replay value replay value of a game games are fucking that's just steep. You can't buy that shit with your lunch money. Like games are and. No matter how long a game is, like Skyrim, or how short a game is, like Portal, it 
it wasn't hard for me. You know, whatever. That's that's my ego of the day. No matter how long or long or short a game is, the ability to play it and experience it again in a slightly different way is is huge to me. Yeah. And it's not to say like <clears throat> that, you know, I don't like games like Ocarina of Time or, you know, or, or games like that are similar to that that have, you know, one path, there's one story, there's one like it's the same, you know, whatever like every time. But you know, this is like looking at my games library. There are so many games that are either ridiculously massively long games like Skyrim, The Witcher, you know, any of the Fallout games that you can play different ways that have so much replay value. Even yeah. like even Minecraft, like you could do anything. If you don't want a snack, you want a meal when it comes to a video game. 99% of the time I, I sit down to play a game, yes. That's correct. Yeah. That's, that's And that makes sense. Going back to the food allergy. It's lunchtime. The, the food allergy? The, the food, food allergy. Allerg 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 allegoric analogy. Yeah. Allergy. My yeah. lunch has literally been sitting next to me for like a half hour. No! Because my husband brought it in for me. <laughs> that's right. No. I haven't had lunch yet. My diabetes is going to kill me. Uh, that's not how that, that happen. All right, this is a lunch episode. <laughs> so, so that's so that's your favorite. That's your favorite puzzle game of all time. It'll always have a special place in my heart. Yeah, I agree. Just be, yeah, like it didn't take. It doesn't take long. It's not to, that hard. It doesn't take that hard, long. But it's still but like just the. Yeah, there's I put a, I put a, the nostalgia and yeah. in 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 the interest of avoiding. In, in my own self-interest and in the interest of avoiding my own crucifixion on the internet, I don't dislike people that play Portal. I had this I had this conversation with Julia separately about was it was it Mass Effect? No, it was about um, it was Doctor uh, Who. It was Dr. about Doctor Who. Who. I don't dislike mm -hmm. people that like things that I don't like. It just doesn't make me like them more. And, and that's this, fine. this is no, all right, it's soapbox time. I told you there should be a segment on the show is, is it's, Tony's Soapbox. <laughs> so I feel, like, I feel like it should just be the Soapbox. And everyone is, anyone who's on the show is okay, allowed to get all the soap. Tony soapbox. Point, please. What type this of is... soap? Irish? Uh, Jacob. <laughs> Throat. Punch. Happening. Um, <laughs> this is why I don't... I, I, it's so irritating to me, and I should have, I should have listed this as my first pet, as my biggest pet peeve, when we did Rogan Paladin ages and ages and ages ago, with another friend of. Ours. Is it's so irritating to me when someone is like, or someone says, "Oh, I like this thing," and I'm like, "Oh, I don't like that," or we're talking and I'm saying, "Oh, I don't like this thing," but someone's like, "That's my favorite thing," like, let's say. All right, like, we'll take the example from earlier, the hot and spicy Cheez-Its. You know, Jacob's like, oh, hot and spicy Cheez-Its are my favorite snack. And let's say, for the sake of the argument, and I'm like, nah, hot and spicy Cheez-Its. That doesn't make, like, Jacob, them being Jacob's favorite snack does not make me like them more or less. And it doesn't make me like Jacob uh, more yeah. or less. Like, if someone's like, oh, but that's my fav, like, Portal. Like, oh, Portal's my favorite game. And I'm like, oh, I don't really like Portal. But it's my favorite game. That doesn't change how I feel about it. No, like, but you I, made a face, I, and that's not, what I was up to I'm not now. a massive hey. dick, and I'm like, oh, you, you suck because you like Portal. Like, the key, and, and the reason why people go to that defense mechanism so often, because I've definitely done this before. To me. Um, to, to, I've done it to lots of people, because... And I've had to do this with things, yeah, things I like too, is you're so used to getting backlash and you're so used to people telling you what you like is wrong that you have that defense mechanism like, well, please, I just like this thing. Allow me to like my thing in peace. Shh, let people enjoy things. Yeah. Uh, I think but one thing the though, um, you, on the, the like, dislike, connection topic what when you find out that someone 
like something that you like, you like them more yeah. because you have that connection. True. Them. I like people more. <laughs> when I hear that people hate yeah, like, them for other reasons, you know, if, yeah. When I hear people like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, I immediately go like, oh, wow, we have something in common. I'm more likely to be your friend. And I don't was, think it's a uh, conscious all choice. Of the things that you like, that was the first thing you picked. Yes. Until you find out <laughs> that you because Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is an obscure-ish movie, and it's kind of like a cult favorite. So when I hear other people say Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is one of my favorite movies, I immediately go. Fair. That's how my wife family feels eminent? about. Uh, that's how my wife's family feels about my cousin Vinny, which is so bad. <laughs> It's funny moments. It's not a funny movie. Um, Jacob, you were saying that—that that was it. Yeah, run yeah. and then topped up the point. I would say, I would say that's that's how it is most of the time. Because because the first thing I I run off to is is magic, and I dislike a lot of people that play magic. Like they're shitheads. Like a lot I... of magic are shitheads. See, I have the opposite reaction. When I when I say I like magic, I immediately have to go on the defense because so many people are like, oh, do you like magic? Right. But I'm also well, a girl who plays magic. Right. So there's immediately that, like, tension there. Punching. The, I don't know, not, not to say punching. everyone that plays magic is a shithead. I mean, most of us are, but, like... <sighs> There are There's people that I see, and I'm like, that person is a shithead, and then I learn that they play magic. That doesn't make me like them more. No, and, and in, that's... in that specific circumstance. Sort of. Yeah. 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 Knowing knowing nothing about someone, finding out they like something you like, you have something okay, to talk yeah. about. Okay, so yeah. Given the, given the background, you you don't know anything about someone, then yeah. yeah. Or the... if you already like someone, and you keep learning about things you have in common, you either get really excited, or you start to be worried at how much you have in common. Yeah, which, yeah, pineapples. Are they, yeah. Are they copying me? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, then there's that fear of, like, oh, are they just saying they like things because they know <laughs> I like these things, and they're just trying Wait, to be my friend? No, backstory point. <laughs> I swore up and down for the longest time that that was why you liked me. Like no, everyone I, was like, "Oh no, she's only playing it because like you play it, like no one else." Like, and then you started to get better than me, and I was like, "Wait, hold on a second. And then I and yeah, and then I got like the person I'm currently dating into magic, which is so fun to look the like boys in the eye who are like, "Oh, so did he get you into magic?" And you're like, "No, ate a dick. I got him." In magic and they're like oh, but the, but the what? <laughs> and then they'll like turn to him and be like yeah you know this obscure card and i'm like oh yeah and they're like it's impossible <laughs> what the fuck is happening what the hell <laughs> is happening have a vastness of knowledge about magic and have boobs see those are the people that i don't like that play magic same that that um, impersonation was perfect of the, the mind blow. <laughs> I've seen it happen too many times. All right, Tony, I'm going to analyze here why you don't like the people getting defensive over you not liking things. Because you make a face and people immediately get defensive when you make a face that they think you're judging them. Yeah. Even, Wait, if, you're yeah, not, Jake, even if you're not, even if you're not touching them. Jake, you never told me this. No one has ever told me this. Hold on, why? Well, Wait, <laughs> hold on. My wife is probably, not, probably wasn't listening. Because you get so... I think it's I have a face. Like it, you do have a face. And it, and it, yeah, but it, it, it's, not, it's not a neutral face. It's no, not, it is, you're not just expressing is, your opinion like, what is oh, that's not something that then? I care about. It's like... There's an intent. There's an intent to the yeah, thing. You're like, it's, a, it's like a puckering like of words disgust. on the tip of your tongue. With people yeah. Sometimes. It's like you want to just start throwing up words of why you don't I agree. I have all three of you on the show at the same time. What the hell? 
This is actually intervention. That's why we've actually agreed to be It's not every time. It's not every time, but sometimes. Yeah, like with Portal. Hello, Patch. There's a dog behind you. Hi, Patch. Come here, Patch. He's in the laundry room where he sits in front of the dryer. It's his favorite thing. That's warm. I get it. Always. It's actually very warm in our apartment today, which is weird. Anyway, so what is my neutral face? You failed to answer this question. It's a normal you? neutral face. It's, it's, it might be you thinking a little discussed. hard when you're listening to someone, but it's not like... It's your face now. I mean, you're you're thinking, but it's you don't look disgusted. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Like yeah. when you said portal, you went... Yeah, you made like... Made and she, you not only did you do it once, you did it twice. And we have it on, we can, you can we go back. All right, all right, everyone calm down. <laughs> everyone calm down. All right, okay, 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 okay. okay. And it's not fair. Like the roast of Just... Tony, yeah, basically. <laughs> fair, I understand, I understand. But if you've done this with other people, that's probably why. What? Been roasted by if other people? Gotten, no, if you've gotten roasted. upset because they Why got people get defensive? Up. Yeah. It's not a problem to have a see, really expressive face. See, it bothers me because it, it bothers me because I'm not attacking them. Like, I don't feel like I, I don't feel like I'm like, oh, this sucks. I'm just making a face. It's intense so versus it's I intention. Feel about it. It's the Your presentation is not of the opinion that. without giving it. It's like if every time you said, I like a thing, someone just went. It's, it's, it's the same idea. <laughs> that would be so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I got a new car today. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't care less. Yeah, it's like it's like a Twitter. We're a person. <laughs> I've just always shared My their opinion. Just have your a dislike opinion. button. Yeah. <laughs> and retweeting, you just have a little recorder with you everywhere, and <laughs> you record what they say, and then like play it back for other people. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. This has been eye-opening. So puzzle games, pretty puzzle neat. Games. <laughs> They're fun. Share your opinion, but I think that's like it's different between being like I think that, I think there's a difference between saying I don't like this for X Y Z reasons versus just like saying that, like you were saying you're not going up to people and saying that sucks and you suck for liking it, but sometimes that's how people feel when anyone <laughs> when people dislike things that yeah. they like. And, and by simply making a face of, you're not giving your intent. You're just saying no. Yeah. You might have an intent, but your impact is different. Yes, the perception versus the intent. Yeah, and that's another. That's something that Abby pointed out. Um, she said that some there might even if that's not your intention, there might be other people that they've talked to in the past who express that intention. That in a similar way. Okay. Fair. Or, like, so for instance, if if you said, um, you know, I really like Star Wars, and someone looked at you and said, you, like. Oh, wait, I've done that. Hold on. <laughs> you put a Star Wars poster behind you. You're not allowed to say that anymore. Because I like the colors of it. And I, I okay. I, I don't like Star Wars, except for the new one. I actually really liked the newest one. I'm not even. Saying that to be like a troll. We can talk about I, this time later. I like about, Star Wars we can have a whole too. episode about Star Wars. I know you have a Mandalorian tattoo. Like me. Look, we can talk about Star Wars if you want to have this talk. If we're gonna talk about if we're gonna have an episode where we talk about Star Wars, I'm going to speak the entire episode of Mandalorian. Go for <laughs> it. Jacob and I will have our own conversation. <laughs> and then and then I'll I'll learn Elvish and Brenna can learn Klingon. It'll be great. Yeah. <laughs> no one will know what we're saying. Don't hate. Although on that note, my wife has. I'm just saying that would that make it very difficult for anyone to understand what you're saying. 
I mean, yeah. yeah. Except this one guy. No, hold on. Story time. I met this one guy at... Yeah, thank you. Um, at a training that I did when I was working at a restaurant. So we had to go to this training class where we, like, watched this video about working, like, restaurant culture or whatever. And to... so it was, like, people from different restaurants in the company. Um... And so we all sat down and we played the you know the bullshit icebreaker okay. games. Tangent um, arm. It's a tangent arm. It's the tangent so arm. We, we all sat down and we played the bullshit icebreaker games. You know, like two truths and a lie or whatever. And one of one of my truths was that I speak three languages. And everyone was like, "No, no, no that's bullshit." Like, no, no, you don't. Like, whatever. Or like, I didn't speak three languages. And so I was like, "Yes, I speak English, Italian." And then I hesitated, and they were like, oh, no, see, that's the lie. And I was like, mm, I also speak Mandalorian. And this guy, like, on the other side of the room, jumped up and shouted at me in Mandalorian. And I was like, what? Because <laughs> I, I had never met another person dedicated enough to... I mean, it's a very specific con line. Language. It's a very specific con line. So... That's it. The story's over. You can put your hand up. Right. Unless you were using it to erase your terrible writing on your whiteboard. We're not going to get. We're not going to get into that. We'll I need this list. <laughs> um. All right. So if, back, 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 back up. Um. Final thoughts on puzzle games. What's well before? Well, actually, hold on. Before we get to final thoughts, what are what are the elements? What is your favorite element of a puzzle game? If you're like, this game has this element, I want to play it. I'll start with Julia. Don't start with me, I have to think. <laughs> I don't you can start with me. I don't have one. There's there's not there's not a common thread between any puzzle game that makes that you me like enjoy them more or less. Okay. As for me, I feel like it's if there's a specific goal to the puzzle, I'm kind of, you can work towards something. Like, working towards a Tetris. Tetris? Oh, or, okay, yeah. okay, no, I see. Or, like, in 2048, getting a 2048, and then getting a 4096, and then... Okay. It, it's yeah. that, like, it, it's that affirmation and that progress of, like, yes, I did well did it, in solving it. this puzzle. I am solving this puzzle in the most efficient manner. Okay. Yeah. Or getting like five in a row and a match three. Like, or six in a row, which is even harder. Right. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Jolene? All right. I have to say, my favorite, like, part of a puzzle game is when something was obvious the whole time, but you had to think about it differently. I hate that. I love that feeling once you figure it out. No, I love that feeling. Because you feel so stupid. Maybe you feel stupid, but... I or, do! Or when my husband's playing a puzzle game, and I come over, and I'm like, duh, it's this. That's my favorite yeah, feeling, that's actually. Really rude. That's my favorite feeling. <laughs> See, I like just walking over to people and just being like, huh. And then you just walk away. <laughs> and they're like, oh, what? <laughs> it's like, oh, do you not see it? Whether you see it or not... You're, that's because you're the worst person that has ever existed. You can walk over and just... <laughs> to my new thing from now on just... that sucks and you suck for liking it <laughs> whatever it is no matter what even if it's something you like <laughs> it seems like a really like almost like a really weird like giving someone the bird <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, like... it's so angry <laughs> it's good okay so this this is kind of cheaty my favorite thing about puzzle games, the the favorite the the favorite thing that draws me into puzzle games is like the freedom. Ooh. Like if a puzzle game has an element of like some kind of freedom, so like Zuma. Did anyone play Zuma? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. which was basically the same. So you have like there's a way to solve it, and there's like it has the elements of randomness. 
but you sort of have freedom in the steps you can take to solve it. Yeah. So, like, Tetris. Yeah. Put the block in whatever orientation you want. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't even... Right. Right. No, you're Always. right. No, you're right. No, it's because... <laughs> Um, because I do that thing with my eyebrows, and it weirds out every single one of your friends. Um, yeah, we've talked about this before. Uh, it's a, it's, it's a thing. Anyway, yeah. So that's that's my favorite part is is like the freedom, and that's that's the best example I can think of for it. I mean, a lot of match three games have like I would say Candy Crush less so, but Jeweled more so because you have like. Candy Crush gets to the point where you have to take certain steps and match certain blocks in order to, like, win or proceed. Because when I think of Bejeweled, like, I think Bejeweled Blitz, where you're just, like, yeah. trying to get as many points as possible. As, yeah. as possible. Um, so the, the, the freedom of choice in how to solve the puzzle. So less of the campaign of the match threes and more of the, like, just hanging out, playing it. Yeah. Okay. So, do yep. we have any final thoughts? What, what puzzle games are neat, and everyone should play them. Puzzle I games. Think they have universal games. appeal. There's, There's tons of old definitely. people who have recently gotten <clears throat> smartphones and yeah. have puzzle games that they play. So, my my grandma plays words with friends, or did for a while. So, I mean, what, Jacob? I was gonna say until all her friends died, because <laughs> I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Anytime I say I anything, if I didn't now, say it. And, and, I, that, and either one of you is like, what the fuck, why would you say that? It's so mean. Think about Jacob saying that. Uh, <laughs> man, you're just roasting all of my family today. Before anyone tells me I'm an asshole, think about something Jacob might have said that could be worse. <laughs> then decide whether or not I'm terrible. Well, that just means you're both assholes. This episode for me. I think that just means, yeah, you're both assholes and you found each other <laughs> and you are perfect for each other. Aww. You deserve each other. <laughs> that, was so, that was so nice. Yeah. You say about us? <laughs> the nicest way to call someone an asshole. <laughs> I, I am just aware of mortality. <laughs> You could also, we you can also very much so blame my parents for this because they have a really, really dark sense of humor. What? No, they don't. They, oh yes, shit. they. You did not grow up with them. <laughs> they I did for a little while. They they did like they don't let it show around. <laughs> they don't let it show around like polite folk, polite company. But polite folk. <laughs> I fall into that category. What the. F <laughs> You just need to get to know his parents more, apparently. I guess so, shit. Aww. All right, so... Really? Let's bring it back to the past. I, I, I don't believe that for a second. I'll, I'll tell you. When, when we're off air, I'll, I'll tell you. Oh, no. So, yeah. Puzzle games are neat. They have really wide appeal. And Anthony is currently puzzled. Yeah. <laughs> This has been uh, an eye-opening, an eye-opening, <laughs> and confusing, and left turn out of nowhere uh, episode of the Doctor Z show. And we'll see you guys next time. Adios. <laughs>